Leah, I just arrived back at home and I'm going to settle down for the night. Good job today talking with my mom and dad for the first time, by the way. And good job to you as well, Justin. I'm sure it was nerve-wracking for you to have to sit there and watch as I talked to the both of them about myself and wanted to gauge all their reactions, right? Well, the first time is over now, and I think things went well. I guess that means we've both finished meeting one another's family now. I can finally take a moment to catch my breath. <laughs> I get what you meant, by the way, when you said it can get hard to breathe sometimes because you have to talk so much. Right? But I am sorry about my mom saying such odd things to you. I have no clue what she meant by wanting to teach you how to become a good wife for me. I already think you're the perfect wife, so the wife you are to me shouldn't mean squat to her, right? Well, anyway, you can just forget about what she was talking about. I'm sure she was just trying to act all mother-like towards you or something. I understand that. But I'm already planning on going over there this week to see her and learn a few things. Huh? Did my mom ask you to go over there already? Yep. I got a call from her a little bit ago saying she wants me to come to her place. She said she's planning to teach me how to cook dishes that you've really liked ever since you were a young man. You could tell her no, Leah. You don't have to worry about things I liked from back when I was a kid. So forget about going over there to see her again. You were only just over there and you need at least a couple of weeks to calm down and get your mind together again after seeing her for the first time. But I only just met with her today, so you really think I can say no to her already? And it's not like things went wrong today between us, right? Actually, I really want to go over to see her and learn more about what foods you like. And I want her to teach me about other things you really like as well. I'm sure you'd be happy seeing your mom and I getting along really well, too. But I'm telling you that even if she does teach you about things I like when I live with her, it won't compare to what you can cook me now. You are far better than her at cooking, so stick to the recipes you know. You just happen to eat your mom's cooking all the time growing up, so you might just think mine is good because it's something different from back then. I just want to learn a little from her is all. And at the very least, this will be a good chance for me to bond with her. You know, that's all I'm really in it for, right? I already told you about how it'd be wonderful to become close with her. If that's what you think you'll gain from all that, then I'm not going to stop you. Well, I suppose you're right. If your dad asked me to go out with him to learn things about you and your past, I'd probably jump on it. Right? <laughs> we both want to become closer to one another's parents, so let's just do it. Also, we're going to be together for a very long time, so we'd better get close to each other's family now than never. I mean, you can see that your mom really wants to learn more about me, right? Thank you, Leah. Going out with my insensitive mom like that. No worries, Justin, no worries. It's not often that I'm invited over to learn from someone's mom about cooking. Uh, but if you could, it'd be wonderful to have you come along with me. You are right about me needing to calm my nerves a little, so having you around should make it a little easier on me. I can come. You think I'd let you go over to see my mom, who you only just met all by yourself? I'll have the day off, so I'm coming with you. Thank you. Then this weekend, can you come and get me, and the both of us can go? <laughs> Will do. I'll let my mom know that I'll be coming along with you to her house. Hopefully she won't mind that too much. Alright, thank you. Well, today was a long day, so I'm going to get into the bath and then head right to sleep. I have work tomorrow, after all. I'll do the same then. Ah, I also wanted to get started here sooner. So, in the near future, how about the two of us go to the realty agency? I've already been looking all over online for some houses, but I think meeting in person with a realtor would be a whole lot more helpful for us. Sounds good. I'll start looking for great areas to live as well, then. Just let me know what time you want to go and see them, so that I can put it on my calendar. Now, I'll see you tomorrow, Justin. Reyna, thank you for allowing me to come over and learn more about becoming a good wife with you. It made me really happy to learn more about the cooking that Justin's always enjoyed, and it was so fun learning from you. 
I hope all my questions weren't too much of a bother for you, and I'll start to put what you taught me this time into practice, okay? If you found today to be that fun, then I'm happy. But to be honest, the food you were preparing for me today was far from the level my cooking is at. So be aware that you will need more lessons in that sort of thing. I suppose that would be so. I'll make sure to practice cooking and preparing those meals some more at my place. Also, today, you came here with Justin, right? That kid came right into the kitchen with you, didn't he? It made it really hard for me to teach you much with him in the room. So, do you mind coming over to my house again sometime? He was just talking too much around us, and that made me lose my concentration. If you'd like, how does this weekend sound? All right. You want to become my son's wife, after all, so I was going to expect you to come this weekend whether you had time to or not. Sounds good. And can you make sure not to tell my son about you coming over to my house this time? Having that kid in this house makes it hard for me to focus on what needs to be done. But this weekend the two of us are planning to head to the realty agency together. So if he came along with me to your house, we can hop right over to the agency right after. He doesn't have to come into the kitchen or even the house with us while I'm there, right? Well, you can just lie and tell him that you'll have something else going on that day stopping you from going out with him. Are you going to tell me that you can't think this far ahead, Leah? I'm sorry? I, I see what you're saying... I'll let Justin know that this weekend won't work, and we'll have to go another time. Listen here, Leah. I was really thinking that my son would want to marry a far better woman in the future. So when I heard that he wants to marry someone who only had one parent, and worse than that, only had a father as the parent, I was in disbelief. I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing to only be raised by one parent, but... Well, you not ever having a mother means you could never learn to do chores, and that you'll have to start learning now, right? Actually, I've been cooking and doing chores around the house ever since I was a little girl. To the point where not even my dad had to help me that much when learning what to do later on with more difficult tasks around the house. But that was self-education, right? You didn't learn anything from your dad, did you? Well, actually, my dad taught me a whole bunch of things. The chores and cooking men do is insignificant to that of what women should be able to do. <laughs> That's probably why your cooking was so bland and tasted a bit depressing earlier. If you'd like me to accept you as my son's wife, then you're going to have to learn to cook what my family likes to eat. And not just that, but you'll need to learn how to take care of the house properly as well. The next time you're over here, I'm going to see how well you can clean my house. Understood. I'll do my very best to make sure you'll approve of my skills next time. That's right, I'm sure you will, and I don't want you forgetting that feeling you have now. My husband currently works for a very large company. And you are aware that Justin is working for a very famous company, right? When comparing them to you, I have no idea what company you're working at, as I've never even heard of them before. I'm hoping you understand just how little you compared my family when it comes to your skills and your occupation. If you want me to approve of your guys' marriage, then you'd better listen and learn from everything I say to you. Alright, I will. At least you're good at replying to me. <laughs> Well, this weekend I'll make sure to turn things around with you. And if there's any signs of struggle from you, or you make even a single complaint, I'm calling your marriage to Justin off. <laughs> I want you to be thankful for giving all my precious time to teach you, and I want you to learn very well from it all. Justin, I have something I'd like to mention about Leah. I do not want you getting married to her anymore, and I'd like for you to call things off with her right now. I knew that woman was completely useless. She was talking back to me non-stop and started to get really angry and shout at me. 
Huh? You shouldn't have any reason to marry someone who only ever had a father and was raised in a poor household, right? I'm sure she's only after your money, anyway. She just wants to use you after you both get married, Justin. All right. You break up with her right now. I'm tired of waiting for you to wake up yourself, so just open your eyes and see the problem before you. The only one here with their eyes shut is you, Mom. You, apolo you apologize to her right now. If you leave things as they are, you won't be worrying about the marriage, but about your house. You think I should be apologizing to her? Why me? And what are you talking about when you say worried about the house? Do you not realize what you've just done to her? You asked for Leah to come over to my house without telling me and then started to bully her. She just called me saying that you poured water all over her head. Are you kidding me? She's a tattletale now? She is the worst kind of woman, Justin. The only reason I had to pour water over her was as a way to get her to stop talking back and yelling at me. A woman that acts like that towards her mother-in-law deserves to be covered in cold water. You shouldn't be doing any of this to her. I heard that you invited her back to your house to learn more about being a good wife. But as she sat there doing all the chores for you, you were making fun of her for only having a father and made fun of her father as well. I think she has every right to be upset with you. I was going to accept her becoming your wife, even though she has no money and never grew up learning anything about being a proper wife. Yet she didn't seem to care about my kindness and wasn't ready for me to try and train her. She has no idea what kind of position she's in compared to me, does she? Ugh. I'm at a loss for words here. So this is really how you've been looking at Leah? Justin, I don't want you marrying into a life of pain and suffering at her hands. You need to learn to throw away useless women like her and find better ones. You have studied and worked so hard to be as successful as you are, so please don't let yourself be taken advantage of by women like her and finish the job by throwing her away. You need to find a woman that fits you much better than her. Now you go and tell her that things are over and that she needs to go. Mom, I just told you though. If you do not go and apologize to her, you will lose your house. Do you want your husband to lose his job and everything over this? You think he'd lose his job? But what are you saying, Justin? How does your dad have anything to do with all of this? Leah's dad didn't want his name making any changes to the life you all have with Leah. So he wanted the three of us to never tell you anything. But I can't hold back this information anymore. Leah's dad is the CEO. And on top of that, he is a top partner and customer to the company that dad's working for. What? When he saw that Leah came back into his house drenched in water and shivering, he was pissed off. She told him it had to do with you making fun of her and him. I wonder how things will turn out for you now, Mom. Right now, Dad is on his way over to Leah's place right now to apologize to her. Le Leah is the daughter of a CEO? Yeah. But I was told before that her father was just your average company employee. And that was, the, and that was only done so that you wouldn't get all worked up over him being in such a high position. If you've heard how he's a CEO of a company that is a customer of the company Dad works for, you wouldn't treat Leah the same. But seeing that things turn out far worse by not telling you, I wish we had back then. I seriously never thought my own mom would be picking on my fiancé behind my own back like you have. Are you sure? I am. You've really done it now, Mom. What should I do now? Uh, wait, I'm going to head over to her place right now. Please do that. However, I'm not sure if she'll accept your apology or not yet. What? What have I done, Justin? Why did you never tell me something so important as that first? That's because I never saw you as the type of person that would bully my wife for any reason. Don't you dare blame me for doing something that only schoolyard bullies do. If what you've done today ends with her father not wanting me to marry her anymore, I'm going to hold that against you for life. Now, seriously, what have you done, Mom? Even if they do forgive you for what you've done, I might not be able to talk to you again. Leah, hello. 
Uh, do you have the time to talk to me right now? Sure. Just the other day, when I went over to your place, you didn't seem to really listen to me at all. So I'd like to come over one more time to apologize to you for what happened. I'd like to come on a day that works for both you and your dad. Do you think you'd be able to allow me to come over and see you? No, I don't need another apology from you. So, uh, that must mean you're going to forgive me then? That is something completely different, Reyna. Leah, I'm so sorry, I... I never knew about you being the daughter of a CEO. And from what I've heard, your dad is a huge customer to the company my husband works for, correct? He really is a very successful man then, right? You are only apologizing to me because you heard I'm the daughter of the CEO that happens to fund a lot of what your husband works for, yes? No, no, no. That's not why at all. I have just realized that when I was being rude to you, it was not at all okay for me to act that way, and so... I mean, you're going to become my son's wife, and I just wanted to make sure you listened and learned from everything I was trying to teach you. Is that right? However, it did not seem that way to me. You continued to belittle me because of only being raised by my dad by saying I sucked at cleaning. And saying that my dad must be an idiot for not having a wife, and so am I. You also added on that my place must be disgusting because I lack any common sense when it comes to doing chores. In other words, you were making fun of my dad and I that whole time. You weren't trying to teach me how to become a good wife. Rather, you just wanted to pick on me that whole time, right? No, no, no. I never meant for any of that to come off as me picking on you. Are you sure about that, Reyna? Even before any of that took place a couple days ago, the way you talk about others like myself seems to be way too hurtful. Has nobody talked to you yet about how harsh your language is when you talk to them? Or could it be that you only speak like that when you feel someone is not doing as you say? Leah, please, can you find it in your heart to forgive what happened? I will never say or do anything rude like that to you again. And I just want you to know that the only reason you got drenched in water is because my hand slipped and the bucket poured on you. Are you talking about that bucket of water you carried with both hands and made sure to carry right over my head? Are you going to tell me that your hand slipped and caused all of that now? That water fell on top of my head, Reyna. No matter how much you try and spin the situation, it won't change the fact that what you did was on purpose. That wasn't on purpose! Alright then, I'll just assume that's the case then. But I'll also assume that no matter what I try and say to you about what's happened, you will not learn to feel sorry about it. I do feel bad, though. I've apologized countless times now, right? Also, remember that I'm Justin's mom. And what difference should that make? You're going to marry him, right? So you will be with him for a very long time now, right? And having things continue like this with his mom for so long is a bit... I will be getting married to Justin. But you will not be my mother-in-law. You just mean that as you won't ever come over to my house and that you'll never come to family gatherings, right? Yes, that is right. But I'm also planning on cutting ties with you and never ever thinking of you as anything other than a rude stranger. Cutting ties with me? You're going to get married to my son without ever forgiving me? You're fine with getting married to him without his mother being okay with it? Yeah, I'm totally fine with it, and that's why I'm cutting ties with you. Before you found out about me being the daughter of a CEO, you really thought you were on top of me and could say anything you wanted about me, right? You assumed I wouldn't be able to do anything to you about your horrible actions, right? That's not at all what I was assuming. Then tell me why you're apologizing to me so much right now. 
Had I really been living a life where I was in such need of money, you would never be apologizing to me, right? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to become family or friends with people who think it's okay to make fun of others based on their financial situation. You have it all wrong. I do feel as though what I did was wrong. I'm sorry, Leah. I really messed up this time, so... Please, don't say you'll cut ties with me anymore. My son's not even responding to me anymore, and my husband just ignores me now. Well, if you think that's all, then you'd better get yourself ready for what comes next. I think the way you treat others based off their family situation and your understanding of how they were raised is not something anyone else in this family can agree with. Also, I really just wanted you to tell me outright that you didn't like me. At least then I could have just stopped talking to you and none of this would have to be happening. Yet instead, you told me you wanted to teach me to become a good wife and then bullied me when I came over to start listening to you. I don't want to be a family to a monster like you, Reyna. Nobody does. If I can't get you to forgive me, then what's going to happen to me? That has nothing to do with me, right? You're the only one that needs to figure all that out. My husband has been talking about getting a divorce. So please, Leah, find some way to forgive me. Leah, I'm asking you to please forgive me. I was raised by a very strong and independent father, and based off what he taught me, I cannot forgive you after what you've done to me. I don't have it in me anymore to listen to you make fun of my dad like you had been. I will make sure to meet both of you in person and apologize for everything I did. So please, I was in the wrong, and I promise to never say anything about your marriage to Justin again. There are times where, even after an apology, forgiveness doesn't follow. And I don't need your approval to marry your son. I really wanted to become close to you since you are his mom and all that. But after seeing the type of person you really are, I no longer want to be close to you. So that's why I'm no longer going to listen to anything you have to say to me. This is really unfortunate, right? You didn't get to have your way in teaching me how to be your kind of punching bag wife. From there, Raina continued to try and call both myself and Justin over and over again. But the two of us continued to ignore her and never once picked up any of her calls. We moved into filling out our paperwork to become husband and wife, all while she continued to try and talk to us. And soon after that, we were married with no problems at all. To be honest about Reyna, I really don't care what happens to her now. But of course, when looking at how upset both my dad and Justin are with her actions, I don't think I'll ever be talking to or seeing her again. On another note, due to what had happened, the love that Reyna's husband had for her was wiped out. And now the two of them live in separate houses from one another. Apparently this isn't the first time something like this has happened with Reyna, and there was someone else she chose to be a jerk to, and so this was the last straw for her husband. Back then, when her husband would have a word with her about it, she always told him that she'd never act that way again. But it only kept happening again and again, so it makes sense that this time her husband could no longer spoil her by allowing her to stay around him. I'm not sure what happened after this incident, but I'm sure this won't be the end of that woman's terrible attitude, and that things really will go downhill for her then. I had always felt a little bit at fault for causing Justin's family to fall apart after the actions of his mom this time, but hearing that she's always been a jerk, I lost all my feelings of sorrow for her and her husband. She may have become a little less extreme after her first time, but she continued to pull the same stunt all the time. And that's what forced her husband to not want anything to do with her anymore. But no matter what happens next with her, it'll have zero to do with me. I'm just happy that with my marriage to Justin now becoming a reality, I'll never have to deal with her again. I'm sure I'll meet people like her again in my life, but I'll make sure to look past their thoughts and actions towards me. 
and in doing so hopefully cause them to lose interest in me and go away for good. That's at least how I want to handle things from now on. Luckily, Justin feels the same way as I do, and so together, we'll make sure that those around us are only ever kind people, and that we get rid of those that want to belittle others. We still have a long life ahead of us, but we won't forget about how we felt this time, and we'll make sure to use those feelings as our strengths next time. <laughs>